You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angelin Whitmire. This plant portrait is for stone crop, sedum ternatum. Sedum ternatum is a small plant with a variety of common names including stone crop, woodland stone crop, wild stone crop, and mountain stone crop. It can be found in wooded areas throughout most of the eastern United States. During the fall months, older fleshy stone crop leaves show signs of having been eaten, or they may yellow and drop off. During winter, the succulent leaves become thinner in the cold. The stems may turn red. Even the leaves may shift to red. In late spring, the leaves appear green again, with new leaves sprouting from the tips of each stem. During spring, not only do new leaves develop at the tips of stems, the plant begins to grow flower buds at those tips. The flower buds grow in a three-branched cluster. Here's a close view of the tiny developing flower buds. This shows how the flowers grow at the tip of the lengthening fertile stem. Here we see a small inflorescence on a still red-leaved stone crop. The centermost flower bud is moving into the phase of showing its maturing white petals. This stone crop inflorescence has several white flower buds. The flower buds develop a characteristic shape with four ridges. Buds develop from the center toward the extension of the three flowering spokes as the inflorescence lengthens. These two images show how the plant's flower cluster has three branches. As the flower stalk develops, it grows longer and each of the three branches becomes separately distinguishable. Each flower bud is surrounded with four tiny green bracts. With this close view, we can see the shape of the flower buds with their four ridges. Again, the four ridged flower bud with its four bracts and a flower bud with five ridges. Occasionally, stone crop has five petaled flowers mixed in with all the four petaled flowers. The flower bud opens. Notice how the central flower opens first. This close view of the newly opened flower shows the four petals and eight stamens. Here's a side view of a new flower. Oh, it's one of those five petaled flowers. And yes, it has ten stamens rather than eight. More flowers open along each inflorescence, from the center of the plant outwards to the tip of the flower cluster. Each flower is about one half inch across. Stepping back, we can see a colony of stone crop plants with its flowers in peak bloom. Looking closely at those small flowers, we can see how the four ridges are the underside of each of the four petals. We can also see the stamens in two locations, within each unfurling petal and between each set of petals. Some of the stamens have dark anthers, while other anthers are red. These two close views of the red anthers show how full and fleshy they look. This contrasts with the black anthers, which are more shriveled. Perhaps the anthers turn color from red to black as the flower blossom matures. The anthers surround four white ovaries in the center of the stone crop flower. Here are fully opened as well as newly opening flowers. And a view of more open flowers with their mixture of red tipped and black tipped stamens. After blooming, the flower's petals shrivel and drop from the plant. The entire inflorescence shifts from white to green as the petals dry up. Observe how the four white ovaries have now turned green and spread outwards to look like a four-armed green star with a line down the center of each pointed follicle. As seeds mature, the follicle turns from green to brown. 
Again, the progression is from the center of the plant to the tip of the stalk. The star-shaped set of follicles turns brown and brittle. Oh look, there's a five-pointed set in this group from a five-petaled flower. The stone crop colony now looks like it's covered with spiky brown stars. Let's study the stone crop leaves. As mentioned earlier, the winter leaves may look red or they may look thinner during very cold temperatures. Leaves grow in sets of three, whorled around the stem. Leaves grow in a different shape and a different arrangement along the flower stalk. They are elliptic in shape and alternate in arrangement. Here we see the alternate elliptic leaves in addition to the bracts. Newer leaves are roundly shaped and each set of whorled leaves alternates above the set below to provide more exposure to the sun. Older leaves gradually become more spatulate in their overall shape. Stems may be deeply red tinged, especially in winter. Other stone crop stems are a blend of red and green in tone. The stem is succulent. Stems grow both upwards, supporting the stone crop flowers, and creep along the ground to spread the plant into a colony of stone crop. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Sedum ternatum, also known as stone crop. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of stone crop, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.